fires of heaven. The dimensions of Elijah. The power over nature. Power to open the heavens. Power to multiply. Barak de Kafatia. Zakata Barakatanus. Barakatua Tatata. Tata Tadida Talataj. On ground, online. Those following on YouTube, on Facebook, every handle, every platform, take that fire now. I went for a meeting. They told everybody coming that I am a son of uh, what's the name now? The evangelist, the evan great evangelist that went to be with the Lord, Rehad Bonke. I said, When did I become the son of Rehad Bonke? I like that record. I wish God would make it so. But who told you to announce this? Because they saw my video in passing on the torch and I sat there hungry for power. They say I'm the son. I'm of the descendant of Rehabonke. And they now added, the man coming is a healer. So all the Muslims gathered people in buses and you need to go to, you know any nation where Jesus is not Lord, there are strange sicknesses there. Even in your state here, go to regions where they don't celebrate Jesus. That's where you see cripples on every street begging. Because Satan plunders them. They brought cripples, they brought death, they brought blind. And I showed up. And this is not a country where I know people. That if things go wrong, I can call for help. To make things worse, everywhere I went, two policemen followed me with guns. They said they just sacked the prime minister. So there have been crises in the city. So... If the city is volatile, why did you not tell me to come now? I'm not a citizen of your country. You are calling me when there is national crisis. They said all the crusade will be doing once per night. And when we come up, police will stand here, stand here and they brought the sick and put them in the places where I can see them. So that you won't plead, preach and act as if you didn't see them. I said no problem. This anointing must speak today. I stood, I began to conjure mysteries. The man who was interpreting was not strong in English language. So when I want to ascend, he will say, wait, what did you say? My soul will collapse. It's not this one that I'm preaching here. People are screaming. As they are preaching, they are watching you. They are sleeping. Because the man will interpret something. He will say, sorry, say it again. My soul was flat. When I finished, I knew I was in trouble. I now remember what Jesus told me. Because I leave, you will see tomorrow. Ah! I stood back on the altar. And I made declarations. I will make the guy will interpret. I will make the guy will interpret. Because at that point, only the word of God will deliver me. No more charisma. No more shouting. That's why I tell people, this thing is not by sweating and shouting. Okay? <laughs> you will joke. Go and find out everybody who are sweating. The results they have. It's not sentiment. I'm trying to help you. So that you don't deceive yourself with emotion. No shouting. No nothing. Just stand on the wall and the wall was produced result. And I declared. After a while, nothing was happening. I stepped back. So that in case, if I have to go, let me be easily smuggled out. Suddenly they shouted. The woman said, I can hear. They brought her to the altar. Another one shouted, I can see. That was when I came back. And I told them, you know, this God that we serve is a living God. <laughs>
It comes like sperm. The Bible calls the word of God the sperm of God. It fertilizes the faith in your heart to produce results. That's how it works. Because God himself supervises it to perform it. Jeremiah 1 12, he said, I watch my word so that I will perform it. If we decree here tonight that you were healed by his stripes, the Holy Ghost will start searching. Everywhere that word is received, the Holy Ghost will make sure it happens. That's why miracles are the easiest things because it's God himself that does them. But the word will go forth. The word must be received. Then the Holy Ghost acts. That's why I can tell you that no sick person will live here tonight sick. Because when I say it, the Holy Ghost will act on it. I know this thing and I believe it more than my name. And that's not all. The second thing tonight that your faith will act on this time is the name of Jesus. When God gave us his name, amongst other things, he gave us two things. Number one is salvation. Matthew 1 21, he said you shall call his name Jesus because he came to save his people. So when we say Jesus, we are not trying to introduce God. We are trying to release the full package of salvation. Every time Jesus goes forth, salvation is released. Those who understand this, catch it. And the second thing the name does is to empower you for dominion. Philippians 2 verse 9 to, 5 to 10. It said God gave him a name that is above every name. That at that name, every knee should bow. That's why I know that every power in Calabar will bow tonight. Because these are legalities in the spirit realm, And my faith believes it. You don't need a feeling. You need to release your faith. When the word goes forth, tell yourself, I'm not leaving this hall with blindness. I'm not leaving this hall lame. I'm not leaving this hall deaf. I'm not leaving this hall weak. And you will see the way the power of God will rattle you. And that power will not only come upon you, it will now start flowing through you. Because when God gives you, he gives you to distribute. That's why we are saved to preach salvation. I believe this video has inspired you and more than inspiration has pushed you into action because the scripture speaking it says blessed are ye when ye do these things the things you just listened to blessed are you when you do them we implore you to get to work on the messages you've just listened to if it means repeating the message to get a point you didn't get at the cost of the message maybe by a distraction or something please do as it would greatly benefit your spiritual growth and that is what we are after in this channel and that brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching the video if you are a new subscriber welcome on board and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back your presence and your view means so much to us please we urge you to share this video once again with your friends and family if you have not done so share it on whatsapp share it on on facebook share it 
share it on all social media platforms that you are so that somebody can get blessed through you and also um do well to like this video comment on the video comment your thoughts comment anything you think if you, if you if you if you need help questions you can just comment them down below and they will try our best to answer your questions by the help of the holy spirit and until next time keep loving the lord and stay blessed